may have won, but there First was a game, lot to learn. Le bras to serve, last all. Who knows, Liang Jingquin could be in the same seat after this best of five match. Last one. That sounds like an insult, but it's not. Wang Man Yu won. That's just how important it is in these moments to get ready and prepared. Two, love. Two quick points here for Liang Jingquin on the receive. One of the fastest servers in the game. Alexi Lebron, even when he's losing the points, just has a quick pace of serving. Three, love. Slow spinny one comes in and Liang Jingquin knows exactly what to do with it. Nice long push from Liang Jingquin has to pull the right leg behind to create a little space for that forehand. Let, Let service, fair play, Liang Jingquin. It's the second time this event we've seen him go out of his way to do something that wasn't necessary against Simone Gozi. Said, yeah, ball hit me, your point. One, three. Doing the right thing when nobody is watching, that is dignity. Of course, everybody's watching, but not everybody can see what Let's he sees. One, three. Oh, the edge of the racket Two, from Liang three. Jingquin, and it's recovered by Alexis Lebrun. That one right there, impressive. Maybe integrity is the word, not dignity. Let's Two, three. Two serving three here. A little bit off the three, net, but that's three. three in a row for Alexis Lebrun. Look at the power from that backhand and the forehand to follow. Side and top spin. The finger comes up on the backside. Very unusual grip on the forehand for Alexis Lebrun. The muscled three. shot powered up and through. Liang Jingquin here with the reverse pendulum. One of the most beautiful and difficult serves in the game. Takes the ball early on the rise. Just too far to go and a hand switch three, trying to five. reach it. The chase after he saves one. Not too far from the ball. As fluid as can be, Three, this forehand. Six. Liang Jingquin's a big guy, but he's got the feeling, the way he fans that racket back. A whole lot of wrist on the shot. Muscle for muscle, six, they go four. powering to step around. It almost felt like bullying in the beginning of the point. Liang Jingquin holding up the racket on the backhand side. Sending it deep to the backhand corner for Alexi to step around time and time again. Seven, four. The receive game of Alexi Lebron. He's going to have to find some answers, especially to that reverse pendulum serve, because the Ang Quinn has got himself in quickly. There we go. Nice touch, Five, takes all the pace seven. off it. Not easy to do what Alexi just did to play it that short. Takes it right off the bounce, leaves it empty behind the net. Five, eight. And then the quick pace of play, it's Liang Jingquin with the extra spin. Three points in front now. Oh, nobody home. Nine, five. We'll come back later, I guess. Your package will be waiting outside the gate, this backhand. As far away as can be, Alexi turned the corner, but was on the wrong corner. GPS, you failed me. Good response, though, inside the table. The table is a big obstacle here. The players will use it as such, but for Alexi, it was like it didn't even exist. Seven, Smart combination nine. here, bringing Liang Jingquin over the table on the short forehand side and sending him deep to the backhand. Two points between them now. 
Nice change of pace, Seven. the timing. Okay. Liang Jinquin slowing it down, playing it out in front, and now it's three game points for the world number three. Long 11, push does it. Seven, Not eight, as much 11, spin 11, as there appeared to be on the ball. And Liang Jingquin with a 1-0 to zero lead here. Liu Jichang waits in the coaching area for his player to come back. And the arcing spin shot floats long. More to look forward to after that 11-7 to seven. game one. It'll be game number two in the best of five with Alexis Lebrun and Liang Jingquin. Now I told you you'd see this man's face, Liang Jingquin taking the contender in Tai Yuan. This was last year, in the last eight months, these are the champions, Hugo Calderano, Felix Lebrun, Lin Win Ru, but where else is he? Champions in Chun, a big one. So Tai Yuan also, that seems to be the place. Two times Tai Yuan contender, two years in a row, and the champions in Chun. Champions is the next level up. And he's playing a Champions event right now, the first ever in Chongqing. Oh, so shy. Tai Hai Shola. He signs behind. And Angelino there, go Dodgers. Home team in the house. I like it. Chongqing has got some magic here. Sinying Sha shirt. Loving it. Some of the most polite, kind, generous people. China is a massive nation, and every city's got a different personality. Love Chong Ching has captured the hearts of many. Liang Jingquan to start off game two. Love Quick backhand in the open rally. Liang Jingquan just a little bit lukewarm in this before he could really get control of the rally. Pouncing on the opportunity, Lebron. One, one. The way the first point went is the way I expect to see Alex C playing with that sort of idea whenever he gets anything that he can open on, he's going to make the most of it. One, one. Two, one. It's funny, I spent some time in Montpellier with the Lebrun brothers, and Alex C calls himself crazy. Two, two. And I have to agree, in the best way, there's a madness about him that makes him wonderful to watch. You just never know what you're going to get. Two, three. Deep varying push. It's interesting, if Alexis Lebron played for the Chinese national team, he'd behave a little bit more like Liang Jingquin because he'd have to. And just carries long as close as can be with the crowd behind every shot in this rally. It is not easy to put these away. Fishing the topspin, he just keeps bringing it forward. Finally, the forehand came out to play. Normally, you don't play to the forehand at all until you can hit a winner. Heavy side spin. Still, LeBron takes it. 26 shots in this rally. It's the longest rally I've seen yet this entire event. Strain. To win a point and have that reaction. Loving these rallies and the stomp of frustration. Two long rallies in a row. I don't know what the count was, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was upwards of 12 shots after a 26 shot rally. And this isn't a chopper out here. This is two full blown attackers with a little bit of fishing in between. What an adjustment. Four, four. I have to wonder, Liang Jingquin, I'll come back to the behavior thing at the towel break just to clarify my point. But Liang Jingquin has winced a little bit throughout. I don't know if there's some strain. The younger of the two players, Alexis Lebrun. Four, five. Yeah, we see him stretching out. He's got that tape above the left knee, Liang Jingquin.
Plays a very physical game, always has. Clever idea for the heavy side spin, but a well-protected tight serve. It's Liang Jing Quinn to tie it up. Let five, five. Rocket backhand early, the first attack. Five. Whenever he can find it early, he's going to make the most. Won't be soft, spinny shots unless he thinks it's going to break the rhythm of the opponent. And a gift. Six. Aliou. Six. So with the towel break here, the behavior comment. Liang Jingquin was banned from the game for three months for celebrating a win. If memory serves, it was over Lin Gao Yuan, the Dark Knight but took some time off and came back and has had a different focus. I think sometimes you don't know what you got till it's gone. It's easy to take things for granted when they've always been. Behind the table again, these rallies haven't been easy. But trying for the counter, ending, looking to end the rally a little quicker. It's a timeout now time for Alexi LeBron, an inhaler for Liang Jing Quinn. Have you ever seen him look that out of breath? <laughs> Having played both of the LeBron brothers, I can tell you they can exhaust you. They can get a lot of balls back in play. So here's the longest rally I've seen. We had a 26 shot rally. Watch the arc of the ball in this rally. Low with heavy topspin. The way Liang Jingquin is playing these shots, most people wouldn't even be able to make them. Pros, yeah, but it takes a lot of work. A little bit more height on the ball, heavy side spin gives him time to counter. Little scoop from under the table, little baby snake. And back up to the fishing game and the big counter backhand just trails long. Mouth wide open on the other side. With such conviction. Liu Jichang. Ale indeed. It's a few in a row now for Liang Jingquin to be in front. Seven, six. The way Liang Jingquin was looking, it almost looked like he got a free time out there. It would have called one. I don't think he would have called it. But it felt like he needed one. Six, Rarely at this level does someone call a timeout because they need a breath. <laughs> Smart placement. Alexi Seven, constantly eight. testing the footwork. And he's got a lot of footwork. Liang Jingquin can leap and lunge. But with the heavy top spins going side to side, the step around cover from the waist. Cool little dodgeball skip there from Alexi Lebron at the finish. Eight, eight. This is a big one here going down 0-2 against world number three is never easy. This is a man who was down 0-3, Liang Jingquin, against Ugo Calderano at the 2021 World Championships. Dima did, or... Hugo did something similar to Dima earlier today from down 0 2. Good Eight, use of the spin nine. coming in and the timing out in front. Alexi de Braun takes it back. Watch where he plays one way out in front. That's all that's needed. Right off the bounce, clever timing. But extra spin on this, powered up. A big point. Because otherwise, that timeout has paid off. Alexi Lebrun had two out of three right after the timeout. Or was it three out of four? Either way. <laughs> the spin, smooth as can be. The second one doesn't count for anything, but it's just a habit of putting it back in play. It's a game point for the three-time French national champion and defending. 
Forehand does it, follows up strong, and he cashes in the timeout, fired up as can be. Alexi Lebrun making this a match here. A lot of people wondered, can he do it? He's done it before, and if he could do it here today, that would be quite impressive considering the undefeated streak Liang Jingquin had in Taiyuan. Stick around, we'll see who takes the lead in game number three to follow. So here's a little look at where Alexi's shots have come down. The red ones are the winners. The purple ones are everything else. The champion's shots here. But mixing it up constantly, for me, that's the perfect painting to describe his game. It's a wild mix. An organic spring mix of some fresh leaves of spin out here. You thought I was going to say spinach, didn't you? Third game, le bras tout seul, laugh all. Even faster than our umpire is ready for. That's how fast Alexi serves. Five. One, love. Fired up continues the streak here. Remember, first point out of the timeout didn't go his way. And variation in the spin game as well. Check this out. Touch, almost nothing on it. So for the last eight points we've seen between last game and this, seven of the last eight points to Alexi Lebron. That's a Montpellier momentum. We'll be going to the hometown of the Lebron the brothers later on this year for a champions event in Montpellier. There's something intimidating about the casual play of Alexi. The second ball, he just guided up. First one, first two shots in that rally, quite unusual. So much racket speed, the drop, and he's there. Oh, swing and a miss! It's a strike on the other side. LeBron, after running all around. Bits of side spin. Watch the follow-up for the drop shot. Get ready. Here we go. 19 shots. Watch the wiggle after the shot. Snake with some serious after motion in the follow-up. Man, tough day at work for Li Hong Jin Quinn. Breathe. An attempted flick. Six of six points to start. I don't want to mention any names, but I had a producer friend say, do you think it's possible? For Alexi Lebron, on any given day, if Alexi Lebron is playing, he can beat anybody in the world. Streaky, yes, but that's his game. He plays a risky, very versatile, unusual game. And look at this. Was this a hand switch and then back? He started. Love to see what Lebron tried to do here from behind the table. Even when the rally gets slightly more conventional, it's tough to trick your brain into recognizing that after all the funky shots he brings. Eight, love. In a deep push here. Crowd starting to get behind him. Finger up on the racket, the third finger. And a human Eight, moment for Alexi Lebron, Liang Jing Quinn giving something to the crowd here. One point to the eight of our serving Alexi. The idea is right for LeBron, but it carries long, and Liang Jingkun with his second point. I've seen some big comebacks over the years. 0-8 down would be a new one for me.
Heavy side spin in the forehand, a forehand Nine. rally, and a bit of momentum stopped here after two points for Liang Jingquin. There's the heavy side, and it comes right back just the same, but he plays it to the middle, taking away the forehand power. Nine, three. And at the second towel break, an exchange rate that we will see three of the last four points for Liang Jingquin. Wouldn't quite be enough. And now it is seven game points for a two to one lead for Alexi Lebron. And he takes it 11 to three with fashion. This is far from over, but it's much closer in favor of Alexi Lebron than the Ang Jing Quinn at this moment. So the world number 29, one game away from shutting down and ending the run of the undefeated recently in China, Liang Jing Quinn, world number three champion of the contender Tai Yuan. But here at the champions Chongqing, game number four between the French three-time and defending national champion and the world number three. The battle continues. So this right here is a heat map of the footwork of both of these players. You can see Alex C. Lebron stepping around a bit more, Liang Jingquin playing a little bit more centered depending on his backhand. Obviously Liang Jingquin closer to the table more than Alexi Lebron, but the footwork, you're not seeing as much far away from the table because Alexi Lebron tries to stay closer as much as possible. A little bit of guarded optimism in the crowd here as fans worry for their patriot, their compatriot here on the table, but excited to be on TV. It is the knee of Liang Jingquin, and it is the need of Liang Jingquin to win the next two. Only one of the next two would be enough for Alexi Lebron. One love. A good first point here to start it off. After some incredible momentum after that 11 to three victory for Alexi Lebron. One, Good one. variety in the push game. Puts a little bit more spin into this one, but decisive off the bounce. Oh, right on top of it. Buries Two, it down the one. line. No shovel needed. Six feet under the barrier here. Ball pops up and he moves in quickly, crushing that one. Stop. Two, one. Timing, he's One, quick again. Three. He went 50-50 on received last time. That's a wonderful exchange rate. Liang Jingquin, in game number one, the reverse pendulum was very effective. 12 of the last 16 points for Alexi Lebron. Nice placement on this. The backhand deep into the corner tests Alexi Lebron to step around. Quality push here as well. So three points apiece at the first towel break. And back to quickly serve Alexis Lebrun. Three, four. This is a change type of change Liang Jingquin needs. Alexi Lebron looking. Just too deep. He's been comfortable. He's won his fair share of points from back there. Liang Jingquin stretching out. 
Even the bandage on the knee there, the wrap coming down a bit. I hope Leong Jin Quinn's okay. Beautiful recovery after that fast parallel forehand from Alexis Lebron. Get ready, big opening backhand. Now he slows it up and that's when Leong Jin Quinn takes advantage. Just a little bit more time there to take the initiative. He recovers it from the top of the net for his sixth point in a row. Liang Jing Quinn getting low in this rally. Fanning shot in the middle. That one would have hit him in the belly button. Still manages to play a forehand, and we've got the lollipop serve. Look like it anyway from the start. Good follow-up, though. Contact was tough to see. Looked like he might have come around it like a tomahawk. One of the many tricks of Alexis Lebron, the versatility in the game. Ah, Tomahawk serve for an outright Seven, point. Be gone five. with ball. Get out of here. Two point game now. If he can end it here and now. Alexis Lebron, there it is. It's the serve that looks like the windshield wiper. It's low, spinny, side and top spin, barely over the net. A little bit off the top of the net here for Leong Jing Quinn to extend his lead to three. Now it's been a little while since I've seen the deep stats on this, but Alexis Lebron has the best record against Chinese players of anybody outside of China in the world. Oh, much needed break here after six of the previous eight points had been won by Leong Jing Quinn. A bit of fortune for the French superstar. Timeout. Timeout on Liang Jing Quinn's side. Pretty important moment here. Not surprised to see him take a seat in this moment. I couldn't catch much, it was faint, but it sounded a little bit like, don't be afraid to play the second ball a little bit longer, get into the rally, send him deep. Six, eight. So back from the timeout, Liang Jing Quinn. Fast serve and a quick aggressive follow-up for a third ball. Alexis Lebron right off the blocks, taking the initiative here in a second serve to follow. Let seven, eight. An awkward one eight, for the second eight. one, or the third ball attack, let's call it. That one. And then he was able to take control. Sounded like it caught the edge of the rack at the backhand, acknowledging his fortune there. Tied up at eight points apiece. Ooh! Half-long push barely escapes the ripping forehand of Alexis Lebron. Liang Jinquin, watch from the side. This is the perfect camera angle for that. Oh, he had the room on it, too. Clearance. The quality in this rally. 
It's a lot of pressure when you play a point that well. You're Liang Jing Quinn and still it doesn't win you the point. Backhand right out in front. Alexi Lebron now with six of the last eight points. And he's got two serves to come. Almost nice brings save. it back. Well played, Liang Jing Quinn, to set up a game point. One retrieve here. LeBron starts to turn the corner. That ball just shallow enough that Liang Jing Quinn knew exactly what to do. Play it wide. Nine serving ten. And he escapes Eleven, victoriously. Nine, he sends it to the decider. Liang Jing Quinn, by a narrow 11 to 9 victory, survives game number four. And two last points that felt like they could have gone either way, but well handled. It'll be another chance in the decider, so you know what to do. Grab those snacks and healthy beverages and tell your friends what they need to be watching right now. The match that could make headlines. The world number 29, Alexis Lebron versus the world number three, Liang Jing Quinn in a French-Chinese battle. The decider coming up right after this. Liu Hung, Wang Hao, Li Sun watching on from the front row with Liu Ding Shuo and the team doctors behind him. Head down in the back right, looked like it could have been Xu Fei. Penhold Junior World Champion, who you haven't heard quite as much from recently, but you never know. A handful of players inside the Chinese national team have blossomed a little bit later. Here's a look at how they perform in deciding games. Liang Jing Quinn with a 58% win record. Nerves of steel. Alexi Lebron 50-50. But he's got the best Lebron record deserves. against Chinese players of any non-Chinese player in the world. One, Which is crazy when you think about it. Think about it. His brother's number five in the world. Doesn't have the same record against Chinese. As fast as can be out in front, Alexis Lebron starting strong. Think about who else might be contending. In your mind, if I say who's the greatest threat to China, you think, what, Tomokazu Hadimoto, Lin Wenru, Hugo Calderano, Patrick Franziska, Dima, handful of others. Zhang Wujin would fly under the radar, but he just 3-0 bageled Ma Long recently. So on the scoreboard now, Liang Jing Kun fashionably late to the fifth game party, but dressed to impress like he was from the start. That's what fashionably late is all about. Heavy spin, a little more shallow, two, testing two. the in and out game, and they go two for two here. Two's all over that scoreboard right now. It was a calm recovery for Alexis Lebron to play this one back. Says, no panic. I'll just wait for my moment here. Takes the ripping shot. And Liang Jinquin does the same, patiently playing. Shorter on the table into the body a bit. First towel break. Watch the placement on the second attack. That one right there. Takes away all racket speed from Liang Jinquin. Count how many shower towels you've seen. Ma Long, quite famous for that. Why not? Oh, Alexi says down, fair play. Says, no, that's my opponent's point. The ball goes down. Four, I love it. Three. Liang Jing Quinn's been everything fair. No question about it. He says, that's down. That's your point. Eight of the last 16 four, points three. for each players, for each of the players here. So I'm just sort of admiring the body language in this moment. It took a while to communicate. I think the official thought it was good, depending on your view of the table. Understandable. Understandable. 
Surprise, surprise, a bit of bend on it, the wrapping forehand. So much of the Chinese delegation watching right now from in stadium. Leg, four, four. Good placement from Liang Jingquin back into that body. They'll switch sides with Liang Jingquin on top. We haven't seen the windshield wiper serve come out. He's set up just the same, but he's gone tomahawk every time. And it's worked out quite well for him, but in recent history, Liang Jingquin's had the answers. Four, five. Let. Four, five. Back into the fishing game. He's behind the table, but he's not out of the point. He's still in the backhand long. It's Leong Jin Quinn with a two-point lead. The pressure keeps on building. It's a test of stamina. Tomorrow, it becomes best of seven. Imagine that, a rally like this, 31 shots. They had already had the longest at 26. The longest I had seen, 31 Six, shots. Four. I can tell you these are not easy balls, and with the threat waiting, knowing that Alexi can come back, running on fumes right now, Liang Jingquin. As wide as can be to that short backhand side creates the opening on the other side of the table. Gets Liang Jingquin just out of position for a moment to send him back. Thirty-one shots, man! Did time fly in that rally? One-point game, Liang Jingquin leading. Six, the beautiful combination six. out in front, close to the table. Alexi Lebron ties it up at the second towel break. They were at three all, now six all. We saw Wang Chuqin down a match point against Sora Matsushima earlier today. Unbelievable speed. The quality of shots. We had a chop block early in this rally and it didn't stop anything. Behind the table. He's a cannon waiting. Springing at any opportunity. Hey, yo, we feel you. <laughs> that replay. Please play. Crowd's going to love that. That, for me, deserves the facial reaction we saw after the point before. Sets it up well. Gets the shot he wants. But instead of 7-all, Liang Jingquin two points in front here. Smart placement again, the combination, bringing him into the short forehand side and sending him back to the deep backhand. As wide as can be, one point game. Okay, I got it now. Crowd liked the replay. It's a good one. Production team on point. Ooh, well now, the chase continues. Eight points apiece. 3-3, three, three, six, six, eight, eight. Even when one runs away, the other will not let him go. Ripping forehand into the middle, and Alexis Lebron in front by one. 56% of game, deciding games, Liang Jingquin wins. Oh, man, the pain! He lets it go as he has to. You can't change the past. This is mental maturity from a man who is a very emotional player who wears his heart on his sleeve. He knows he needs to keep his cool right now. Alexi Lebron is still in this, but the last two serve combination with Da Pang. What a retrieve! Liang Jingquan saves a ripping shot. It felt for sure like this was Alexi Lebron's. From the start of this point, get ready. One. 
save. This one goes long. Doesn't miss by much, takes his chances. Match point, Liang Jingquin. And he takes it, Liang Jingquin. 11 9 in the decider. A celebration like we haven't seen in a long time. And a hug. Gotta love it. Alexi LeBron says, man, that was painful, but you were incredible. Brother from another mother on the other side of the planet, you deserve this. Respect to the world number three for taking down the world number 29 in a very tight fashion. Alexi LeBron put up the good fight, but the better man on the table today, 11-9 and 11-9 after being beaten 11-3 in game number three, a steel trap.